the exhibition's called I See Colour and it's about looking at colour. We've worked with children, we've worked with adults with um, um, visual impairment and blindness and it's about making people aware about um, visually impaired um, people but also um, about the idea about colour and those concepts as well. Um, how did you come up with it? Um, I was commissioned by Esenga Kaya from the Customs House um, who had talked about the concept of I See Colour and she brought myself and Emma Churchill in. I See Colour came about um, as a result of thinking about the pantomime and this year the pantomime uh, includes circus elements within it. I thought that um, generally organisations cater for sighted people and that visual arts exhibition, just the word visual, you know, visual art is very much for the sighted person. So what, what would it be like to talk to an individual who had a visual impairment or indeed was blind, talk to them about what are their perceptions of what colour is and what texture is and what words would they use to describe those things? I think what was really valuable was the conversation, a lot of it was really valuable, the conversations and the awareness and some of the quotes that are at the back um, really kind of opens your eyes about what it's like to have visual impairment and concept of colour and vision. It was really interesting working with the um, group from Sight Services because we talked a lot about visual impairment and if you've never seen colour, what does colour mean to you? How would you describe it? My name is Sanford Gaudi and I've sponsored this gallery now for six years. And this to me is absolutely superb in as much that is communicating with people unfortunately I've got one or two problems, but it gives them a, a feel of being part of the community, which I think is wonderful. And I'm absolutely delighted at that which I've seen today. It's Denise, isn't it? It is, it is it Denise. Is Denise yes. So, um, what brought you to the exhibition tonight? Well, I'm the patron of Sight Service and also of Blissability, and they're the two organisations that have combined together to stage the exhibition. Yeah, I work quite closely with the schools, working with visually impaired kids and sighted kids talk about colour and how we could use a bit of IT to work with colour. Um, the kids first put together a stained glass window using tissue paper and then we use that to make a tactile diagram which you can see down here and then record the kids concepts of colour and what they thought of when we mentioned the colour. And they came out with some great things that you wouldn't expect when I talked to them about the colour red. They said oh let's have the sun and I went the sun for red? I said yeah if you stay in the sun too long you go red. So it's really obvious things to them which I didn't think of. And another one was, I said to them, what about blue? What do you think of with blue? And it was your best friend's T-shirt. Like real things that just sprang to their minds straight away. What's your involvement with the, the exhibition tonight? We're all from Blissability in South Shields. We're all volunteers. And we've done a lot of the, the written work that you see about and some of the labels that have got Braille on it or the, uh, the risen word on the Touch Me, Smell Me boxes. They're all risen, so if you feel them, you can actually feel what the word is. And these guys actually you know, made all that. Disability involve themselves in anything that's gonna help anybody. It's not just people with disabilities, it's anybody that needs that extra bit of help, extra bit of support. Like this is help, it's support. Any sort of like organization or single person that needs it, we're there for them. Are you really pleased to see a lot of children being involved in the project? I am always pleased to see children. Uh, and uh, as you can hear, they're having a very good time. And of course, it's, it's a wonderful thing for children because uh, such a lot of exhibitions are a bit above their head. But there's so much to see and touch and feel here that I think children are in their element. Is there something that you're particularly drawn to? I love all the different elements of it. I particularly love the central installation because it sums the whole idea of I see colour up. For sighted people it's a big impact visual um, thing that you can see suspended bang in the middle of the space. 
But for visually impaired and indeed for a blind person, it's full of colour, it's full of texture. What do you think of the artwork? Is it? I am astounded. I haven't seen everything yet, but it is wonderful. I've just seen um, um, one of the people from Side Services made this amazing balloon which is made out of spun sugar. When you touch it, it's quite firm, but very beautiful, sort of like lace. Um, and there's some, I've christened one of the uh, exhibits Fairyland because it's, it's, it's just a, you wander through wonderful things hanging from the ceiling which are all different, all colourful, all different textures, materials and I understand there's some poetry as well so there's something for everybody. Yeah, I was very interested in what the group were doing and uh, I'm quite amazed at the effort that's been put in. Uh, it's an excellent exhibition. Is it nice to see other artists from the North East coming well, out? Of course, of course, and uh, there's a lot of, um, it's a lot of talent. Uh, the question is how do you get it, turn it into, make, into a living property, because it's a great way to make a living, being an art, so it's fantastic. Um, you get paid for what you enjoy, you know, but uh, wish them all the success, actually. What do you think about making a living as an artist in the North East? Is it, is it a hard slog, or do you think it's a, <laughs> it's a bit better now? Um, there's a lot more arty people. Ups, it has its ups and downs, um, yeah. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't swap it. No, and you'd, en you'd encourage lots of young Absolutely, people there. Yeah. 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 The best thing for me is so working with the children first hand, building a relationship up with them, telling them some of my background about my visual impairment. They can then come to understand that, right, I understand some of these problems with not being able to see colours and things, and how can we develop and use things to overcome people's problems. This exhibition actually shows that um, contemporary visual art isn't stuffy, high art, and you don't have to understand the language in order to go into a gallery, and that actually contemporary art can be anything and everything you want it to be. It was great to see all the work come together, and because I know how hard all of the children and the, and the um, participants from the site services have worked as well, so it's really good. I think it's been really good working with the artists, working with the schools, building up the relationship and working closely with the Customs House as well because they've been very supportive um, and it's a way of us getting out there and more people coming across this technology and knowing what it's used for, why it's used and being more aware about people's visual impairments. Is there anything you'd like to add about the exhibition in, or anything in general? Not well, just that it is absolutely wonderful to be interviewed by two such charming young ladies. <laughs> That's great, thank you very much Denise. Thank you.